How's it going, Coop fans? I'm Connor Seifling of Wazoo Recap, and I'm here for Country Coop Night. This is just the second home matchup of the season for the Cougs, as they have been on the road for the past two weeks. The Cougs have a unique and sentimental connection to the Toreros, as the Toreros assistant coach, Casey Shaneline, played for WSU for four seasons from 2014 to 2017, leading up to three NCAA tournaments in the process. The Cougs walked away with a 3-1 victory in their first home game against Eastern Washington and look to continue their momentum on Saturday after a 2-1 record in their recent Southern California road trip over the past week. The visitors, San Diego, were set to make a tough fight for the Cougs as they finished just outside the top 25 in the latest ACVA rankings, garnering five votes. WSU started off the match with a load of energy, going up 5-1 to one to start the first set. The Toreros then quickly closed the gap and it remained a tight race to the finish. At the end of the set, with the Cougs holding on to just a one-point lead, outside hitter Taryn Reeling finished off San Diego with back-to-back -back power kills. Brecken Sheck was the player of the set for the Cougs as she totaled four kills and a block in a dominant performance. Wazoo struggled to find their footing in the second set as San Diego racked up three separate streaks of four unanswered points throughout the set. The Czech, Lucy Blazkova, did her best to rally the Cougs, but outside hitters Nemo Beach and Isabel Clark combined for 12 kills total, packing a punch behind every attack. Beach had eight of her 11 kills in the second set, along with an ace as San Diego won the set 25 to 15. The third set was even more intense than the first, as the Cougs kept it close despite San Diego holding the lead for almost the whole set. Down 22 to 21, Wazoo rallied back with four consecutive points and closed the set with a Katie Ryan slam to put the exclamation point on a hard fought set. There were multiple timeouts and review calls at the end of the set, adding to an already intense atmosphere. The Cougs looked to finish off the Toreros in the fourth set as they started off with flawless execution, winning six straight points behind strong Ryan attacks. San Diego would pull close in the middle portion of the set, but the Cougs went on their second six-point streak of the set, which included three service aces from Sage Brustad. WSU would go on to take the set 25-20, finishing the match three games to one. Ryan led the attack for the Cougs, finishing with a team-high 13 kills, who also cracked the top 10 all-time list for career points tonight. Brustad had the best all-around performance with 11 kills, 11 digs, and five aces. Brecken Sheck was extraordinarily efficient in her attack with a career-high .625 hitting percentage on 12 kills. For the Toreros, Nemo Beach had 11 kills on a team-high 42 attempts, culminating in an energetic yet inefficient performance. Wazoo spoiled coach Casey Shaneline's return night and will look to remain perfect at home this season against the University of Portland on Thursday. San Diego head ho heads home to play Pacific on the same day. What an impressive win for the Cougs tonight as they take home another victory, three sets to one against the University of San Diego. For more WC Sports coverage, make sure to follow us on Instagram, X, and TikTok at Wazoo Sports Network. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Cable 8. I'm Connor Seifling of Wazoo Recap, and go Cougs.